major events that define Tinubu's 100 days in office. On May 29, 2023, Bola Ahmed Tinubu was sworn in as Nigeria's fifth president under its democratic era. Within three months, markets hoped for a swift pivot to reforms and hailed the new president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government, amid a surge of optimism. Tinubu without fanfare announced, Petrol subsidy is gone at Eagle Square after taking office on May 29th, stating that funds for subsidies will be diverted to other things like public infrastructure, education, healthcare, and jobs. After the removal of fuel subsidy, many Nigerians said the effect would be too adverse for them to bear and asked the president to have a rethink. However, the federal government quickly announced a palliative of 8,000 naira for 12 million households to cushion the adverse effect of the subsidy removal. The money is to be disbursed every month for six months through electronic transfer. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu reiterated his administration's commitment to unifying the foreign exchange market. For more than a decade, the dollar and other foreign currencies in Nigeria traded at one rate at the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and another rate at a market known as the parallel market. But despite this, dollar supply remains limited, putting pressure on the Naira. The spread between official and parallel market rates has widened again following narrowly in the early days after the Naira was floated. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has also set the record for the highest number of ministerial nominees in Nigeria's Fourth Republic, 1999 to date, with 48 ministerial nominees, which experts said would likely worsen the high governance cost. Paula Ahmed Tinubu was elected as chairman of ECOWAS during the 63rd Ordinary Session of the Authority of West African Heads of State and Government in Bissau, Guinea-Bissau. However, with the military intervention in Niger, a test beckons a Nigerian's president, who also doubles as the chairman of ECOWAS. During President Tinubu's first 100 days, Nigerian stocks gained 5.23% on his first day in office, May 30th. The biggest stock gain recorded on the first day of office of any Nigerian president since 1999 and also reduced oil theft and pipeline vandalism. These are a list of the major events that has defined Tinubu's 100 days in office. My name, Kemi Michael, for Business Day News. Business Day. News you can trust.